Welcome back to another RMS Support Center video. Today's topic will be how to create a contract group and use it on the contract selection view. Now, to, in order to get started, we're going to go ahead and be in the district library. Now, within the district library, we're going to go ahead and go into the contractor groups module. So now we want to go ahead and add a contract group by clicking the add button and then giving it a name and then also giving it a title and then we're going to go ahead and click OK there are two methods to add contracts to a contract group one is to manually add the contracts to the contract group or to use a custom query to manually add the contracts we're going to go ahead and click the add button and then we're going to go ahead and select the contracts that we want to add to the contract group select OK then we want to make sure the radio button is clicked and set to manual. The other option that we can do is to do a custom query. And we can do this by clicking the radio button query. So down at the bottom, we can add the text of our query. And in this case, we have a query that will select all the contracts for a specific office using the office ID. Now we can make sure our query works by using the execute query button. And now we see a grid with all the contracts with that office ID. Now let's go ahead and see how that works on the contract selection view. Now that we are back at the contract selection view, we can use the contract group that we just created by clicking the button, filter using contract group, finding the contract group, selecting it, and clicking OK. Then we will see that the contracts are then filtered out by that contract group and display only the contracts relating to that office ID that we entered within our query. And that's how you add a contract group. Thanks for watching.